Hey everybody, this is Nick here with RPG Mastery, and uh, today's episode we'll be sketching a uh, serpent druid for, let's see, the username for this person is DamnKami on Reddit. Um, so basically I put up a Reddit post um, saying the first person to comment I would do an art uh, piece for them or a sketch of their character. And this whole series is about me learning how to draw and I wanted to challenge myself by strictly drawing things from my memory and constructing them as I go. So you can see here I'm constructing the skeleton um, much in the same way that they teach you in the, in the Bridgman books I've been studying. Um, had quite a bit of difficulty with this character. There was a lot of um, dimensional problems that I had trying to make it. Um, it's not perfect by no means, especially without a reference. Um, but again, this is just to kind of test my abilities and also maybe do something good for somebody while trying to do it. So this guy, um, the description was fairly short and brief, I can say real quick. It says, uh, human druid, he's very tall and wears a black robe with exposed hairy chest and a top hat. No shoes ever, a big bushy beard, and staff of the serpent. So, I think I kind of, I might have forgotten the hairy chest part, but when I do these, I only limit my, I put a two hour cap on these projects because, I mean, I try and, I know it's not, it's going to be imperfect, first of all, because it's referenceless, um, but also I just want to be able to get through, uh, a lot of these and practice and get better and better so as the series goes on I'm sure uh, you guys will see me get more experienced and I do practice um, in the morning I'm working on an animation as well um, and I practice at night every night for about two or three hours um, in addition to doing this every once in a while so I'm um, really happy to be able to do it and I had this idea like I haven't seen any other artist on YouTube doing this, and if you're a YouTube artist watching this, I really challenge you to try it because there are a lot of people out there that have really cool ideas for stuff and can't have or don't have the means to produce a physical kind of rendition of the things that they see in their head. So, and it's a really good way to challenge yourself as an artist, especially if you're doing it reference lists and stuff like this. So. Um, as you can see, um, I tried to give him a kind of a handsome face, uh, I wasn't too sure, the description was fairly brief on that, and I think that was because in the Reddit post I, I put it, I, I wrote down the first person to comment would get the, to get the, would get the artwork, so I think it was left brief in, in order to kind of race everyone else, uh, for the slot, so, um, I do think uh, the current Reddit post, since I'm not a very big YouTuber currently, I think I will be looking at doing everybody else in the comments uh, that commented on the Reddit post. And, and uh, although it will be a couple of a, you know, a couple days wait before I can get that done, but um, I, I would like to do that for them. Um, Let's see here, I had a lot of trouble with the foot. Um, this character was barefoot in the description, which was a serious pain for me, a serious challenge. Um, I'm not sure even in the end if I got it quite right, um, but I did my best. So uh, Here we've got, um, I started with a kind of young face, because again, I didn't really know the age of the character, but if they have a very bushy beard, I would imagine they'd be kind of older. So. Later on in this drawing, I actually put some uh, kind of age lines on, around the mouth and and the eyes there. Um, and I also, uh, towards the end, I put some bag uh, baggage under those eyes to show that maybe he's a little bit tired and, and worn. Um, again, I didn't, uh, you guys just, I read the description to you so you guys see exactly what I'm talking about. There wasn't much of, uh, much detail. I didn't know what, um, you know, race the character was. I didn't know, uh, skin color. I didn't know if he had the hair, if he was bald, if he had hair or not. Um, so I kind of, I knew he was tall, so I kind of made him the, the structure of his body kind of like a, a basketball player. At least in my head, it looked like a basketball player. Um, 
And then <laughs> I realized basically I was just drawing a Abraham Lincoln as a druid here. <laughs> but um, So I did have trouble with a hat and I did some warping. That's kind of another part of the challenge is uh, I'm much better on paper than I am on uh, digital art, especially with because I have a, a little Wacom a Wacom tablet, and um, it is actually a tablet for signatures. It's like a business tablet that's made to, you know, have people sign signatures for electronic agreements and stuff like that. Um, but it was cheap. It was like I think it was like forty dollars, and that's what I'm using. So. Here you'll actually see I'm using the curve tool on the lines to try and compensate for the fact that uh, one, I'm a new digital artist, and two, uh, it's really, really hard to make a straight line or even a calm, kind of a calm or smooth line when you're using a tablet as small as mine. Um, I would say the tablet I'm using right now, maybe let's see I'm looking at it right now it looks about four uh, four inches by five inches um, so you can imagine that's fairly fairly small it's almost the size of it's a little bit bigger than the size of my hand here um, so I did make sure his chest was popped out a little bit there um, the idea of a top hat and a robe combination is kind of a uh, a redundant thing he would never be able to put the hood up on his robe so this is an interesting character certainly um, I did look up uh, some snake staffs before I did this it was the only reference I used because I was like is this a specific item from Dungeons and Dragons if it is I want to make sure I get it right so um, I went ahead and looked that up and then throughout the drawing or towards the end I tried to use my memory to see if I could get something close and it reminds me a lot like uh, Jafar's staff from Aladdin but without the hood um, so here I am doing the feet and the feet were such a struggle for me um, I do this has definitely shown me that I need to go and practice my uh, feet skills more uh, in the future um, I definitely wasn't expecting somebody to say that they wanted a character that was barefoot though, but it does make sense being a druid that he would be closer, more closely connected to the land and whatnot. Um, so there we are, tried to clean up the feet as best I could. <laughs> I was tempted to put hair on the top of it or like hobbit feet, but <laughs> I imagine this guy, he, well he could have been a hairy guy. Um, and again, here we are with colors. The problem with having a black, uh, a black item on a character is you lose the line. So I didn't go with a pure black. I went with kind of like a um, a blue shade, um, kind of a grayish black to show that it was kind of worn. I did the same with the top hat here. Um, made it about the same color. Um, I'm definitely not a colorist, that's for sure. I'm still learning how to do that. And I do struggle quite a bit with light and shadow. Um, earlier in the drawing, I gave him kind of a hook hand there because I wanted to um, put some kind of item in it, like a flame or something really awesome like that. And, um, because again, I didn't know what kind of magic this character used at all. Um, and because of that, I kind of just put like fire in his hand because I think most druids are capable of using cantrips like a torch or something like that um, to create light. And then it was another challenge trying to create uh, light emitting from the flames in its hands. Um, and who knows, um, you know, that'd be an easy fix if, it, if you didn't like fire, you could go in and change the color yourself. <laughs> um, but I like fire and I think it's kind of a cool, a red contrast with all of the green would be very cool. And so yeah, here I get some serpent wispy magical eyes. And then here I started making the flames and then I realized basically what I should have done was flat the flames first which you can see me doing that here I'm going ahead and putting down the primary color then I'm going in with some thicker flame uh, coils there um, and again I was on a time limit this took me two hours to get this done so this is at a times 10 speed um, so I did know that I had a time limit on it. I had two hours to try and get the best thing I could get out. And so I did 
there was a lot of shortcuts I took. Um, in the future, as I get better and better and more used to using these tools, um, I'm sure I'll get more out, more mileage out of the two hours uh, that I use to make these videos. The last video I made for photo um, was about two hours as well. So here we are. I'm putting the shadows in, so I had the light coming off of the flames, uh, kind of emanating around him, and that was very difficult to do. Um, I believe a lot of the struggle I have is with light and shadow, and as I get better in my practice uh, form, 3D form, and practice light and shadow, um, I believe my artwork will become more um, uh, physically, like, prominent. So this is Nick Newman uh, with RPG Mastery. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video. All right, bye-bye.